Lansing Mayor Andy Shore has officially started his second term, and already he has some short-term goals. It was great. Jeff Brown got, got sworn in, and Chris Wolf got sworn in, and I got sworn in, and um, gave a, a short little speech, and um, that was it. Mayor Andy Shore giving me all of the details about his inauguration this past weekend. Shore was sworn into his second term and says he's ready to hit the ground running. You know, we've been doing the job for four years, so it's not like we're coming in fresh and, and need to, to learn and, and get new understandings of how things work in the city. Shore says he has goals for his first 90 days of his second term, including growth in the city, which was discussed during his campaign. In Shore's eyes, growth and economic development go hand to hand. What I, what I want to get through is making sure that we can grow our city. I'd love to see us land a new battery plant here um, with GM, and, and uh, we've done everything we can to make sure that we put a, the, the best offer on the table. Shore also hopes to promote diversity, equity, and inclusion. He says there will be more equity and diversity trainings for city employees, and there will also be work done externally. We've sent a, an ordinance to city council to create a diversity, equity, and inclusion board for the city, which will do a lot of the work on the external um, issues that were identified in the uh, the external scan that was done of the city. Lastly, Shore hopes to decrease gun violence in the city. Last year, Lansing had a record high 23 gun deaths. Shore says bringing in more staff with the police department will help. We'll have some conversations about that, about making sure that that we're, we're fully staffed, which we are uh, once again very close, um, and we hope to be fully staffed. Uh, we'll have some people in the academy, we've got some cops coming in that are already certified. I think the perception is that more police officers on the street are going to help reduce gun violence. Uh, whether that's a one-to-one -one correlation, I, I don't know if you can really say that. Um, but I think it helps perception. I think it helps people feel safe, which is the whole point of making that type of proclamation. Kyle Malin is the editor of the Michigan Information and Research Service, and he's been covering Lansing politics for nearly two decades now. Malin says if Shore meets most of those goals, it's more likely that he'll improve his relationship with residents. I don't think he has a, a negative reputation. I wouldn't say that he's you know, viewed as the best mayor we've ever had. Um, but, you know, following, following uh, Verge Monero, he's just got such a completely different style that, um, you know, he's not going to blow you off your feet. Um, but maybe this second term, if he gets some significant accomplishments, uh, it will improve his reputation. And Lansing, I'm Larry Wallace, Fox 47 News.